Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Zaystars Gaming and Fun. I am he, the one and only Zaystars, and this game is called Force of Nature 2, The Ghost Keeper. Now, I did not play Force of Nature 1, so I have no background in this game. It was recommended by a good buddy of the channel, so I figured I'd, uh, I'd give it a shot. Now, let's see. Okay, that's to join a co-op game. We have a few settings in here. This is a camera angle. Uh, respawn all enemies every time you exit the game. Now nah, we're not going to do that. Automatically fight back enemies. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, inputs. Regular old input type stuff. Nothing. It's not a complicated game. It's a pretty simple name. So let's, uh, let's call this guy ZGF. And... Uh... Holy crap. Jeez. Yeah. Let's stick in the middle. What do we got? Dude, I could totally have a man bun. I'm not going to have a man bun, but I could have a man bun. We could be a lady. Ew, thothy. Oh, wait. What the? Weird. Whoa! Dude's got jacked pecs. <laughs> what do we got? Slower crafting. That sounds insane. Eh, probably don't need any of that. Increase inventory by eight additional slots. This is a good one to do when you're playing alone, as you run out of inventory space very quickly. I, I started the game just to kind of get a basic feel of the of the controls and then uh, and progression, and then kind of quit. So this tutorial stuff, I'm not reading everything, because reading is insane. It's a basic point-and-click kind of game, along the lines of the Diablo franchise. Um, this area here kind of gives you a basic, whoops, gives you a basic, uh, here's how you do things. So basically the space bar, and then you can click on things. We got workbench. You hold down the space bar and it pulls up like a little, here's what I am. And then you can click on the name or you can right click on it. And we want to make a flashlight. So you just click on what you want. It tells you what you need. Later in the game, there'll be tools. Oh, right. Never mind. This part in the game, you gotta put a tool in. And then we, we'll be able to craft up a flashlight. Honestly, this beginning area is kind of silly. It's just a tutorial, but yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a noise. We gotta figure out the noise. Here, let's examine the noise. Oh my gosh! There's a critter and it's running rampant around my house. Let's go get the locker, because all we have is fisticuffs. I don't know if you know anything about uh, raccoons, but you do not fight them with fisticuffs. And then you just right-click on the enemy. Do a little bit of damage. He doesn't fight back, it's a raccoon. He's like, nah, bugger all. Help me! Help me! This crazy human! He's trying to sweep me up! I'm too dirty! Little trash panda. There it goes. Now it's buggering off. Oddly, this area, this isn't the same every time. When I started before, the uh, hole, I want to say, was right here. But anyway, let's head over here to the shelf. We'll grab all the things. Whoops. So there's, just like most games, there's two crafting menus. You've got your personal items crafting. You hit with the C button, and then later on, the B button. Oh, this is where we'll make the wall. And it'll list all the stuff that we can do. So right now, we have to mix up some cement. And then we'll hit the B button, and we'll do a wall. And we'll place the wall. So the grid is going to have red squares. It's going to have these little clear slash green squares. You can only build on the clear slash green. Which I found to be kind of annoying in some places, but, you know, it kind of makes sense. And then there's the creepy little glowy thing. And you're, the guy, he's like, what is this? I will go examine it. Oh, wait. I never did grab my flashlight out of there, but... I forgot to grab my flashlight out of the box. I went and made it and everything. <laughs> That's alright. This game doesn't get dark enough that you need to worry about having a flashlight. And we're on a deserted island. How did I get here? I don't know. All right, so this is our little build area. 
We're, we're going to run around here. This is a pseudo survival game. There's no hunger. Your food items um, influence your health and your and your stamina. And then we have all this crap to pick up. So I'm going to go do a quick rampant pick up everything in this local area. And then we'll explore some of the, the menus once we get some goods. Okay, now that we've cleared our local area, we've got our menus. Inventory, also done with the I button. The C button is your manual crafting. It will also pull up the, uh, the inventory menu. Uh, the most important item in the game is the linen. Immediately make all of that into rope while you're yapping at the others. So, knives. The knives, and I think that's all on here. These are tools you use in machines the pick axe and hoe that's exactly what you think it would be though the hoe is kind of a it's kind of a uh shovel as well oh we're gonna need to make at least one of those all right then we have our build menu so baskets are your first uh container you know to store things in discovery table kind of works like raft where you have to discover new technologies through the discovery table, which is weird. Crafting table, tannery, coal smoker, that is all what it is. This is decorative, so I never make it. Bonfire. These are all just crafting machines. Oh. And when you get new things, it kind of tells you. It gives you a little new icon. Here we go. So we have signs and we have fences. And then that goes away. And, of course, just like anything, we have objectives. Things that they want us to do. Collect, yeah. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to make us an axe, a pick, a hoe, and a knife. Then we're going to go up here. Uh, so, these ones here, just take a couple of wax, and they give you a bunch of sticks. All right, and then this thing, this is a tree. Obviously, right? You all have eyes. So once you knock that down, it gives you sticks as well and logs. And then if I'm not mistaken, how oh, you can't see it. Over here are apple trees, so they'll drop apples as well. And then these, of course, are rocks. Oops. There we go. And as far as I can tell, if you throw something on the ground, it just kind of stays there. Oh yeah, we'll need to get a weapon of some sort. I've never used the sling. Yeah. Alright, uh, what else does it want us to make? Oh, we need to collect clay, soil, and sand. So, soil you get anywhere that is dirt. No, sorry. Soil you get in these brown patches. See that? And then clay, you just pick it up. Clay, you get from these red patches. Incidentally, clay is one of the most important bits in the early game. Clay and linens. And then sand, you get from the sandy beach. That's our inventory. Yeah. So, normally, it's just two lines of inventory. And then we have a sort button. Okay. Now it wants us to build a bonfire. So, the bonfire goes with... Actually, let's put it right here. So we hit B. No, sorry, we hit C. No, is it B? Where's the bonfire? Here we go. So we need an ember. And oddly enough, you make embers in your hand. Out of sticks. So you just rub a couple sticks together, you get an ember. Bingo, bango, bongo, we can make a bonfire. Shit, we could make two if we wanted. Now, see, so remember what I said about the red? You can't build on the red. So we are going to put the bonfire... Hmm. Oh, no, no, don't go digging, dummy. Let's put the bonfire right here. Fuck it. You can move stuff with this icon right here, so it's not a huge deal where we put it. 
There we go. Bonfire lets us make baked potatoes. With the, and with the exception of, oh, with growing them, baking them is the only thing you're going to do with your potatoes. Which actually, we don't really need that right now. Um, fried meat, all right, health gives you a health bonus. Baked potatoes, your early game healing. Um, the grapes are the early game stamina boost. I haven't made fried eggs. You need a chicken for that. These things are great. They just require apples, which are not renewable as far as I've been able to find so far. Grapes you can grow in a garden, and pure water you get when you use a, a thingamadoo. Water purifier. All right, what else does it want us to do? It wants us to take a look around. Oh. Okay. And then it wants us to... Wait, what? Zoom in and out. Oh. Okay. And then it wants us to place a construction and a discovery table. Now, when you're building, keep in mind that you need two squares in between. Oh, shit. We need all sorts of stuff. All right. Let's get some resources real quick. Okay, that should do for now. Be careful not to overload your inventory. Um, if I was playing without that extra checkbox, I would have no only one space left. All right, now I was saying, make sure when you're placing stuff that you keep in mind that you need two squares to walk between something, right? So if I wanted to put this here, then I could walk between because there's two squares left. Now, if you walk away from this, it'll stop. See the little pause thing? So you got to be next to stuff as you build it, which is kind of neat. Later on, you'll get a little helper to help you out, which is kind of handy. It, it helps speed things up a little bit. So there's the uh, construction table. That allows us to make a stone mace, which, in my opinion, a pretty good early game we weapon. I, we could go the spear for a little less damage, but the mace has a chance to stun your enemies, and that comes in handy. While the spear... Attacks faster, does less damage, but does use less stamina. Though I have yet to run out of stamina. Then you click the little treasure box here, and it'll pull whatever into your inventory. Alright, discovery table. Ooh, we need a pelt. Okay, so the trees act as a barrier. So no critters can get through the trees, right? Right? Unless, you know, until you open up by cutting through them. And then there's piggies and foxes out there. You saw a fox over here. That's what that is right there. So I think we'll... Let's go ahead and chop our way through and get to this fox. Actually, can we build... We can build a basket. Okay. But we don't want to go through and use all of our rope quite yet. And since we're being cheeky we don't really need to and then just right click see there's the stun now the foxes will run away well sometimes they'll run away so you know you may have to chase them down or just eventually they'll come back to you i just want to make sure there's no okay there's no way for other critters to get through to this area so we're good to cut all this down in here all right, so we have the pelt. We should be able to do oops, the discovery table now. Now, I'm going to put it... I think right here. That'll, that'll keep it nice and even, and we can do some discovering and some crafting right here without too much trouble. Now that that's done, we can click on it, and it will give us the ability to discover... So we just need a little bit of clay to learn pottery, which will be down here in the fire pit. A little bit of rock and clay to learn masonry. Now we're going to want to get agriculture as soon as possible because we're going to want to be able to plant and grow linen because we're going to need absolute shit tons of rope. So we need to get linen going as quickly as possible. We also want eventually animal husbandry because we'll want to get feathers for arrows and we'll want to get milk from a cow for some later um recipes 
metallurgy and tailoring we don't need to really worry about right now so the first thing we're gonna do is work on getting some water so we need some clay how much do we have just one yeah we're gonna need a little bit more all right and he should stop at 10. he does a he does a batch of 10 with the clay the dirt and the and the sand and then he stops he or she all right, so we got some clay. Now we got to come down here, and we're going to want a clay jug. Now, you only need one of these right now. When you go to make some more advanced stuff, you might need more. But for now, you just need one. Okay. We'll drop that onto here. Now, what did we need? Yeah, we just need some raw water. Can you just come into the water? You right-click, and he'll start gathering. And he stops at 20. What's going on here? Oh yeah, we can make planks now once we get some copper. Wooden shield, ash. The copper is way later, so we're not going to worry about that. Though, we are going to grab the tool, the knife, and throw it in there. Because we don't need it for anything else. Alright, let's discover agriculture. Awesome. Awesome. Now, if we go to build and to farming, we can get a seed bed, but we need soil, right? So we're going to go over here. Where was the soil? Ah, here we go. And we need 15 per, so let's get up to 30. Okay, that should be, yep, that brings us up to 30. So now we need to pick a spot for it. I wish we could zoom out farther than this. Okay, so this green stuff, this is building area. These are resource areas. So I don't want to build on top of the resources. So let's put the seed bed. Um, sure, that looks like a good spot. We'll do two, whoops, no, no. Ah, it's okay. I'll move it. Let's get these built. Alright, so we're going to move. And I want it right there. Now, moving is also an operation that you have to do with your characters, so... There we go. Now, planting is super easy. You just grab what you want to plant... This gives you the one through four for these little beds. You need raw or pure water and then whatever the seed is. In my case, I'm going to check the preferred ingredient being raw water because when we do start getting pure, pure water, it takes a lot of time to make that. So then we just plant. And planting does not, it is not a long process. See how it's going up? And then it took away water down here. So we're good there now. Let's see... Grow grapes. Oh, well, we'll grow some grapes in a minute. It wants me to discover animal husbandry. and But we need some pure water for that, which means we can probably build the water purifier. Where is that silly thing? Oh, here we go. Except we need a bunch of shit. Huh. Ah, only one more stone, so let's get that going. Ah, oh, shit, this thing needs coal, which means I need to build a coal smoker. Oops. I forgot about the coal smoker, which means eight soil. Okay. Okay, something that I forgot to mention. This thing makes embers three to one. And we make embers one to two. So if you have the machine, make embers with it. Now we're going to want... Okay, how many embers do we need? So for coal, we need a log and three embers. And we're going to need... 
10. So we're going to need 30 embers and 10 logs. How many can we make? Oh, that's too many. Let's do 30 embers. And how many logs do we have? Oh, we already have the logs. We have plenty. All right, and this is going to take a little time. So I'm going to collect water. I like to keep my materials up to one stack whenever possible. So we'll get up to 19 here. All right, and then we're going to need to go get some more clay because we had to use some of it. Pick our linen. All right, so when we got linen, now we have a bunch of linen and we have... Oh, those are the wheat grain. We have linen seeds. So grapes, grapes and potatoes, you have to grow with the actual plant itself. Uh, yeah, let's grow potatoes. Because we are going to need some food. Okay, how are we doing down here? Almost there. Actually, why don't we just grab what we got? get these going oh oh it's for four. Oh, I made way too much that's all right see I don't know everything I'm not perfect so if we only need ten then we don't need to cook that many ah it'll be fine we're gonna need a ton of coal later anyway just use that up uh that's gonna make four at a time and we need 10 so it's gonna take three so while that's doing that let's get a few more supplies all right did you see that i ran out of stamina you gotta eat 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 those are not quite ready yet how many of those did we get can we build it Almost there. Actually, we got potatoes coming. Oh, is it just one? When we end up going out to an adventure, we're going to need a little bit in the way of that stuff, of potatoes. All right, it wants me to do animal husbandry. So let's plant some more potatoes because we're going to need those in the future. And let's do some linen. We'll need wheat in the future too, but not yet. Okay, now that we got all that, let's grab the water filtration. Now, you don't need this overtly often. So let's just drop it. Mm. Let's put it here for now. And we're going to move it to the right. Because I want it, I want two slots in between. Okay. Now. It wants a pure water. So then we're going to go in here. And we're going to take... It'll take from our inventory. We can do up to 11 pure water. We're going to go ahead and do that. And while we're waiting... Alright. And it stops me at 20. And we only need the one. So let's grab the pure water. And we'll come down here and we'll do animal husbandry easy peasy lemon squeezy all right now for tailoring we're gonna need leather and for leather we're gonna need a leather tanning rack right which we could do there's where you need another jug that's the first one this thing will be nice all right but we're not worried about that right now right now we're gonna come in here and it wants us to place a construction place a barn and a barn is kind of a generic, will hold any animal type of structure. So we need 10 more rope. What did we plant over here? Potatoes. Oh, okay. And the rope makers. Sweet. All right, we're going to do a double, a double uh, crop. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to make the rest all but 10. There we go. 
into rope. This is way faster than doing it in our hand. And this is two to one, doing it in our hand. It was still two to one, okay. And it's two seconds, whereas this is one and a half seconds per resource. So that's kind of why we're doing that. Okay, we should have what we need to build the barn. Now I'm going to put all of my barn structures over here. And we're going to make this area over here our uh, barn, I guess, where we have all the animals. We gotta go up against these edges, though, because we don't want the animals to get around them. Eventually, we'll put fences up, too. Alright, so now, if you look at it, places for animals, one, suitable for all animals. We have a goosery, where you can put three geese, three cows, three sheep, three chickens. Alright, so, this is kind of the catch-all. It's big. These are all smaller-ish. Um, but it can hold one animal of any type. These all require similar stuff. So Now it wants us to make a... We're going to need some more linen. Yeah, we're going to use lots and lots of linen in this game, in the early game especially. Enough so that I might put up another seed bed. Okay, the linen's done. We'll come down here. Plant some more. Okay. And then let's finish getting this. Okay. Now it wants us to make a trap. We should have enough linen to make a shitload of rope. But let's make some traps first, and then we'll queue up the rope. The traps are going to do is it's going to allow us to go out and capture... Oh shit, I have to do this one at the table. It's going to go let us go out and capture a cow or a goose. I think we'll start with probably a goose, unless a cow is just right there. Because the goose is going to give us feathers, which is going to allow us to get a bow, which will give us the ability to shoot our enemies in the face. Okay. Will this make the rope without me? It will not. Alright, so these things. You put them down here. Oh yeah, cow, sheep, goose, chicken. The cow would be the best because you need the cow's uh, things more than you need the, the goose or the chicken, now that I think about it. But, you know, either one's good. Um, I think if we go out this way, it leads to an open field, unless this is different. But let's hack our way through real quick. We'll see if we can't catch our first animal. As near as I can tell, there's no degradation on your equipment, on your tools. So it's not that kind of survival game either. Although it's still early in the game's development, so... I mean... Yeah, we'll see. Oh, okay, the piggies. The piggies are not capturable. You just gotta kill them bitches. Oh, I've never seen the pigs run away before. And actually, let's get... Where's my baked potatoes? Get them down there in case I need to heal. Hey, pig! Get your ass back here! Okay, there's a fox. Okay, the fox gave some pelt. Here, a chicken. Oh, there's that cow, or the pig. He gave some meat. Uh, what's that? That's a chicken. I guess it doesn't really matter what I catch. I'm going to end up with everything eventually. Ooh, I heard a cow. Can I get through here? There's a sheep. Maybe not.
Oh, that's a sheep. <laughs> oh, we had our first level up. If I'm not mistaken... Yeah, we got skills. Mad skills, yo. Alright, I always like taking sprint. Then you can grab it, drag it down to your little bar here. Um, Berserker Rage, do a little bit more damage. A little bit more potential damage. Uh, but... Let's get a little more health. And do a little crafting speed. Oh, I gotta select the right weapon. All right, we got it. So now we need to kill these idiots. Oh, it got away. Mother. Damn it. All right, let's try this again. All right, we got it. Now I want it to follow me. And then where's... Oh. And it'll do a pretty good job of following you. If it gets stuck... Just right click on it and go to call to yourself and it'll it'll come hump right up against your leg. Now, I don't think they get eaten by anything, so I don't think you have to worry about that. All right, so now we want it to wait right here. If we wanted to feed it, we could feed it with a little bit of pure water and some straw. Now, I don't know what the sheep gives, so let's grab a little pure water. Let's go ahead and feed it. Oh, do we not have any straw? I thought I picked some up. Yeah, we got straw. Oh, you need four. Do we have any straw? Okay, not to worry. We'll just make some real quick. Okay, while we're waiting for that, let's put up a basket or two. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got plenty. All right, we're going to put up one basket over here. That's going to be for our seed. And then we'll do a second basket that'll be for plants. And then we'll do a final basket for, like, animal bits. None of this is a huge deal quite yet, but it will be eventually. All right, let's head, yeah, let's head over here. Where's that sheep? You can see on the mini-map, little green dot. Let's feed this bitch. All right, looks like he's gonna make, he's gonna make wool. Okay, which isn't particularly useful at the moment. So I'm not gonna worry about it, though they will walk around and uh, go poo. So there's that. All right, as far as our objectives go, it wants us to explore the area. So what, it, what we're gonna do now is, or next, is we're gonna follow the map. It looks like we go this, can go this way. But we're going to follow these little roads until we find an area that has someone that will help us, according to the little quest thingy. Oh, and then, yeah, we got storages. So logs, sticks, and stones, you can build storage for them so you're not carrying them around with you on your adventures. And they don't take up space in your baskets. All right. Sheep gave us a wool, which I'm sure we'll use once we get the tailoring resource. I would imagine, but for now it's going to go in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to cut this episode. It's a nice and short. You guys let me know if you're enjoying this one, if you want to see more of it. Uh, it's a it's a cute little game. There's not a whole lot of danger. The critters only respawn if you want them to, or if you sleep in a sleeping bag, or you have it set in the main menu. Um, you don't ever die of hunger or thirst. You just die from damage. And stamina seems, seems like it's not a huge deal. I do run out every once in a while when you get really busy onto things. But the next episode, uh, we'll we'll head up and try to find the help, as this thing says. Explore the area, find some help. So I really do hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content. And as always, everyone, have a great rest of your day.